there is still no vaccine, parents are wondering what it will be like when their children return back to the classroom next fall. CBS 12's Lexi Nall spoke with the deputy superintendent about how a community is influencing plans for next school year. Ultimately, you know, we feel being back in a school building is best for students. When it comes to education, Deputy Superintendent Keith Oswald says there's nothing like the good old-fashioned classroom setting, and Governor Ron DeSantis tends to agree. But at the end of the day, distance learning is distance learning, and, um, you know, just no substitute for that hands-on instruction. Last week, the governor announced a plan to reopen Florida schools at full capacity come August, earmarking hundreds of millions of dollars in CARES Act money to help support schools through the transition. But ultimately, the decision on when and how to reopen is up to local leaders like Keith Oswald. Oswald, and he says Palm Beach County is considering several different options for the fall. We want to have like uh, different pathways depending on the situation we're in. So if we had to go to a, a one week on, one week off, or a, a two days on, a day off for cleaning, and then back for two more days. Nothing is set in stone yet, but Oswald says feedback from both parents and teachers will inform the final decision. And no matter what, the district plans to continue offering remote learning for families who do not feel comfortable sending their kids back to school. The important part of this is going to be choice. Some parents, what we see so far in the survey, are going to prefer to still stay um, in a distance learning environment, and we want to provide that opportunity. The district is exploring new safety protocols like smaller class sizes and the possibility of wearing masks for students who do return to campus in the fall. But one infectious disease expert predicts that because the infection is typically mild in children, the threat of a coronavirus outbreak within a school is small. It doesn't look like these children are really that infectious. Some of the modeling studies that I've seen in some of the other countries that are out there, when they've reopened the schools, it really hasn't made a huge impact on the overall transmission in the population. The school district is still seeking input from local families on a plan to reopen. Parents have until Wednesday to respond to the district survey and can also attend virtual town hall sessions with district officials beginning next week. The district is offering the town halls in multiple languages. For more information, visit the homepage at CBS12.com. I'm Lexi Nall reporting.